Welcome to Storytime with Pastor Steve. Today's story, The Prisoner Who Freed Others. It comes from the book of Acts, chapters 27 and 28. It's written by Marvin Marquardt and illustrated by Obate Designers and Alice Hausner. Julie was taking her first trip away from her home and all alone. Grabbing her suitcase, she boarded a ship with people all going to Rome. But Julie was lonely and wanted a friend. She looked at the people a while. Quiet ones, noisy ones, busy ones too. She hoped she would see someone smile. Then off in the corner she spotted a face, the happiest face she could see. The man was a prisoner, Julie could tell, but somehow he seemed to be free. With hope in her eyes, Julie sat down by him and gave a smile, a small tug at his coat. Hello, little girl, the prisoner said. Could I be your friend on this boat? <clears throat> Mr. Oh, would you, said Julie with glee and quickly asked, what's your name? Why are you wearing those nasty old chains? A nice man like you, what a shame. Gently he answered, my first name is Paul, and I am God's servant, you see. A few weeks ago I was preaching his love, but some people grew angry with me. They started a riot, and I was arrested, and thrown into jail a while. Although I am Jewish, I'm also a Roman, so I'm going to Rome for my trial. None of this mattered to Julie at all. Paul's freedom was all she could see. Joking and playing games with her friend, the days were as nice as could be. Julie was happy when finally they reached the first stop along the trip. A place called Safe Harbors on the island of Crete, a rest for the people on ship. But Jason, the captain, said, sorry to say, the first winter storm soon will start. I know a city nearby where we'll stay, so winter won't blow us apart. Then Jason set sail for a short one-day trip, but before very much time had passed, a fierce wintry storm shook the boat from stern and right up to the tallest of the mast. The waves soon were splashing all over the boat and almost swept Julie from sight. She nearly fell over the side of the ship, but the prisoner Paul held her tight. For many days, Julie and all on the ship thought soon everybody would die. The darkening clouds and the rains were so thick that the people could not see the sky. Jason was frightened, but prisoner Paul said in a voice free and of fear, Don't be afraid. God will keep us from harm. He promises his angels are near. Then all of the sudden, one midnight, a voice called loudly, Hey, land! must be near. An hour ago the ocean was deep, but the water is shallowing right here. And as the sun rose, the shore came into sight. Jason said, just like I planned. All right, everybody hang on very tight. No doubt we'll make it to the land. Faster and faster they sped toward the land, as the people were shouting with glee, then bang, scrape, groan, crash. The ship hit a rock in the sea. Suddenly, Julie fell right off the boat. A friendly wave gave her a hand. On the shore, she saw all the passenger friends. They all had come safely to land. People who lived there came running to help the injured who lay on the shore, to bandage their bruises and make a big fire to dry the wet clothing they wore. <clears throat> Julie saw Paul taking care of the people 
and making them close, move close to the fire and gathering branches to add the fuel to help everybody get drier. <clears throat> Suddenly, Julie yelled, Paul, drop the wood! But Paul stood there wondering why. Then out of the wood shot at the head of a snake with poison to make a man die. The snake bit the hand and it wouldn't let go. Frightened, the people all said, This prisoner certainly must be a killer. It's good that he soon will be dead. Paul shook the hand, shook the snake just a little bit harder, and into the fire it fell. When Paul didn't die, the people amazed and cried, You must be a god. We'll call, we can tell. Paul picked up Julie and hugged her and said, Oh no, I am only a man. The healing was done by my god and his son. I'll show you his love if I can. So many folks living there came up to Paul, children and women and men. They told him, he, we all have some loved ones who's ill. Can you help them get better again? Father in heaven, Paul cried out loud, please show them your kindness, I pray. Then all of the people were happy because God healed them all right away. Julie said Paul is a prisoner still, but we all plainly can see. But God loves, but God's love has freed him inside where it counts, and so he helps others be free. <coughs> it looked as if it was the end for Paul when that snake had bit him, but God had other plans. When the world has things that go wrong and bad things that happen to us, God's got a plan. So know that God's in control and God loves us and brings us his love, his peace. He has sent his son Jesus to be our savior, to not just save us from snakes, but to save us from the punishment of our sin. May God fill you with his peace and his love today.